I'm a sports merchandising company Fanatics moving beyond commerce this morning. The company announcing an expansion into other digital sports verticals, including media, gaming, NFTs, ticketing, and sports betting. Also newsworthy, Fanatics has secured even more funding, and its valuation is up over $5.5 billion in just five months. Fanatics now has a private valuation of $18 billion. Joining us now with more on the news, Michael Rubin, formerly executive chairman and as of today, CEO of the broader Fanatics company. Michael, it's great to see you. Congratulations. Thank you. What's happening, Andrew? Good to see you. It's great to see you. So explain what's happening here, because we've always thought of you as a merchandising company, and I know you started to get into some of the digital world, but this seems like a, a, a remarkably larger expansion. Yeah, well, I think everyone's thought of us as a merchandise company over the past nine years. So we've done a great job from uh, when we really started a little bit less than a decade ago, um, building what we call the e-commerce merchandise business into today, a pretty meaningful business. And we built a tremendous leadership position in that business. But we've realized that we have this incredible opportunity to not only have that be an incredible business for us, but to really transition from being a leading e-commerce company to building the leading digital sports platform. And that means as a sports fan, you go to Fanatics and really get any digital sports product that's important to you. I think over time, we're going to give to the sports fan. So I heard you mention things like media, online sports betting, over time, potentially ticketing, um, trading digital NFTs. Um, continue to have a great merchandise offering. So we think there's an incredible offering. What's particularly interesting is we've created really the best database in all of sports. So we have more than 83 million sports fans that come to Fanatics, that love Fanatics, and we want to give them really the digital sports fan anything they want. So when you talk, for example, about, the, about getting into the sports media business, does that mean that you plan to acquire other, other sports media businesses and bring them in? Does that mean that you are going to try to grow this business organically, create this from scratch? How are you thinking about that, for example? Yeah, I think it's going to be both. And look, it's really all about the team that we're building. Uh, as you know, Doug Max has been the CEO of our e-commerce business, which is the entire company until today. He'll continue to be the CEO of the e-commerce business. We added three uh, incredible executives just really in the past couple of months. Uh, that are going to really run the business. Blank Shipman, who was the CEO, C, CFO of I, IAC, um, he actually did an incredible job there over his past six years, grew the stock price by 12 times. Tucker Kane, who's going to be our chief um, growth strategy uh, officer, and also Matt King, who was recently the CEO of FanDuel, who's going to really a great entrepreneur, is going to work with building different digital businesses. But we're going to do a combination of acquire and build. And that's really been the history of the company. We bought nine companies in the past 10 years within the e-commerce business. I'd expect that to accelerate dramatically over the next couple of years as we continue to build the e-commerce business, but also add these new different verticals. And, and in, in terms of the other verticals, when you talk about ticketing, when you talk about NFTs, when you talk, is the idea that people are gonna all come to Fanatics as an umbrella brand on top of this? I mean, how many people are coming to that? Or is, it, or is the idea that you're gonna push people there leveraging the credit cards and email addresses that you that you have? Yeah, today we already have tens of millions of sports fans that go to Fanatics every year. We're actually going to have 700 million visits to our network of sites this year. We have to do 40 million transactions within the e-commerce business. And the idea is, you know, this is really, people want to say, hey, you're building a holding company. We're not. It's really one integrated business. Whereas a sports fan, you can go to Fanatics and really do the things that are most important to you as a digital sports fan. So again, whether it was buying your merchandise, trading NFTs, placing sports bet, bets, watching certain media, um, or other products that will develop over time. So we want to do that all in one place. I think that's a particularly great opportunity. There's really not another company that's thinking about giving the digital sports fan everything they want in one place. And one thing about us, we really always want to be the top player in each business that we're in. I think we are the top player today in the e-commerce business. I think as we enter other businesses, whether it's a new business or a highly competitive business, we're ambitious. We want to be the number one, number two player, hopefully number one in every business that we enter over time. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.